Screw yard bones here, and I'm back with my imperial agent. I actually didn't realize I wasn't recording, so I uh, uh, went to Narshadon to that intro thing, but not missing much. We're just uh, going to locate Watcher X on the planet side here in uh, Shadow Town, I believe. So, I guess we'll get on to that. Make me look good. Okie dokie. Step inside. Scan the apartment for important things. Overt threats, escape routes, access terminals. Take your time. Now, look again. Scan for concealed weapons, hiding places. Anything innocent is probably a bug. Anything you don't recognize should be analyzed later. Play the game. I can wait. Nice meeting you too, Watcher X. I apologize. I'm so glad to see you. Is that what you were expecting? Got a lot of brass for someone living in filth. You're a cipher agent. Specializations in disguise, seduction, infiltration, assassination. You're brave to come to Shadow Town. This could be your future. A bomb in your head, trapped here like a criminal. I'm still not completely clear what this place is. The people in the slum are spies, assassins, scientists, experiments. Most of us have done unpleasant things. All of us know too much. The Empire keeps us because we're too valuable to kill, but it doesn't want us on its doorstep. Now do you understand? I understand more than you realize. Of course. And now we have business to discuss. You know that the Eagle's terrorists are using Narshadar as a supply hub, but I imagine you don't know their latest scheme. The terror cell is on the verge of acquiring mass quantities of a new genetic modification serum, Cyclone. They plan to distribute it across the Eagle's network. I don't intend to let any of them leave here alive. Then you'd best move quickly. Cyclone increases a user's speed and focus, transforming an average human into a natural assassin. It's also lethal, a minor defect. We need to learn who created the serum and find their link to the terrorists. You must obtain a sample, a cyclone dose or a user's blood specimen. You want me to go out and spill blood? I'd rather keep things quiet. There's an augmentation shop in the Corellian sector, a place people go for fast, dangerous modifications. Purchase the cyclone there. I can give you an injection to mimic the effects of long-term genetic damage. You'll be slower and weaker, but you'd make a convincing cyclone buyer. I'm not letting you inject me with anything. As you like. Probably the smart choice. Too bad. Wonder what he would have done to you. Get to the shop. Get me my cyclone or my blood. Then we find a link to your terrorist enemies. Alright. Time to buy some drugs. Okay, maybe I should have worn the disguise. I mean, pretty obviously uh, imperial here. But I think we'll be okay. Gahal Ravul Azjon Uduet Untumata Zakazag Urgelu Kwal Kunkas Urtunu Nula Uma Juguhu Zuza Haga Nuexa Nunsa Bahala Ulkulta Mete Judir for Pusuna Jormulu O Kaleg. Do exactly what I say, or you're dead. Uma or Malu Mentu Gorastuk. Uju nunsab tutub, guzu aga, nuesca nunsca bala. Rugel afna mul confu eses, quenu unsu sposu. Not very subtle. <laughs> Let's try that again. Luzatu munzu sunjal usublulu. La Zatu Moon Zu Lujem Fretenden Untumaquen Uma or Malo Mentu Gorastuk. Get up against the wall. I need to search this place. Lu Ujipulu Tunku Muhaba Ukunet Mejeb Bala. Warabulj Statuld Dun Unmord Tatole Ranzatuega. I'll go. After I give you something to remember me by. 
Alright, raided the place. This is Watcher X. I've been waiting for your call. I assume you have my cyclone specimen. Was there any trouble at the augmentation shop? Did you admire their work? I saw what went on in there. Crude, but inspired. Not as artful as what the Empire did to me. Not as skillful as what they did to Watcher 2. No, we need to analyze the specimen. Figure out where Cyclone comes from. We'll need equipment I can't buy in Shadowtown. There's an abandoned medical laboratory in the Duros sector. If armed refugees haven't stripped it bare, you can run the analysis at the lab's bioscan. What happens once I get the analysis? You send the results to me. Then I think about Cyclone's connection to the terrorists. I'm very good at thinking. Very good at thinking, huh? Alright. Oh wow. Bio scanner. Alright, yeah, we gotta go to the next place. Alright, make me look good. I guess we can do the bonus quest here. Hello again, Cypher. I'm seeing everything the Bioscan sees. Genetic bonding agents, molecular webs... Pure. Perfect. Take Cyclone and it becomes you. I'm going deeper now, Cypher. Looking for a signature to tell us who the artist is. Curious? I'll play along. What have you found? I have a corporate match. Cyclone's coding process is registered to Sinchet Industries. Sinchet used to manufacture droids, food supplements, medical supplies. But Sinchet declared bankruptcy five years ago. The company is gone. Someone else must be using their technology. Sinchet, a dead company, is connected to Cyclone. Cyclone is connected to the terror cell. We need more. I'm finding one former Sinchet executive currently on Nar Shaddaa. He left the company just before it dissolved. Question him about Sinchet. We need to know what happened to their resources, whether they had terrorist connections. Let me go talk to him. Your executive is named Jordal Tlan. Rich, eccentric, reclusive. Stays in his private casino lounge. Only associates with droids. No visitors allowed, no weapons allowed. He'll need a reason to talk to you, to be desperate to talk to you. Is there a way to blackmail him? I think so. Use the resources you have. See those medical crates. Combine their chemicals correctly and you'll have an undetectable poison. Clan's serving droids won't notice if you poison his drink. When he sweats and chokes, 
offer the antidote in return for cooperation. That's not a bad idea. I'm sending the formulas for poison and antidote. The important thing is to get to Tlan, get him talking about the terrorists, Cyclone, and the dissolution of Sinchet. All right, let's do it. Master Tlan requested my repairs be completed in time for tomorrow's swoop race broadcast. You are supposed to comply. I'm not a mechanic. I can't keep repairing you things when you malfunction. Then I shall inform Master Tlan of your inability to perform your duties. That's not necessary. I... Why don't you clear your memory of the last five minutes? Hey, you! Uh, this is Master Tlan's lounge. Is there something I can help you with? I hope I'm not intruding. What's your name? I'm Natula Pan. I assist Master Jordal Tlan, tend to his lounge and the droids. It's a pretty nice gig. When Tlan left the business world, he picked me up, bailed me out of debt. Now, I work for one of the richest men on Nar Shaddaa. I bet working for Tlan has its advantages. Uh, he doesn't... it's not like that. And he owns my debt, so he doesn't bother paying me. Look, don't take this wrong, but... I don't know you, and no one comes in here just to talk. What's this about? I need to take a look at your serving unit. JT-05? Don't tell me it's making trouble in the casino. There have been a few complaints. Running into customers, that sort of thing. Maintenance sent me. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry for the trouble. Please, do what you have to. Now, I've got to get back to the JTO too. Blasted thing. Ah, yes. I look like your typical repair person. Sorry, Master Tlan must have called the droid. I hope that's not a problem. I'm sure Master Tlan will enjoy his drink. I'm sure he will. Natula! Natula! I can't breathe! I need my medical droids! I need them now! Master, you have two medical droids already. You be a girl, I know when there's something wrong with me. I can't breathe! My tongue is swelling. There was something in my drink. Hello, Tlan. Sorry for the trouble. Seemed the fastest way to get your attention. You did this? How did you get in here? I'm sorry, Master. She came to look at the droids. You pathetic creature. I've told you that I have enemies and this is proof. This woman is trying to kill me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You've got my undivided attention, Blast. You know, what do you want? I need to know about Sinchit's link to terrorism. It's not... Uh... It wasn't like that. Back when I was with Sinchit, the company was failing. The war bankrupted us, so we had to sell everything. One of our subsidiaries developed medical technologies, Coltor tanks, Rancor stems, Cyclone, that sort of thing. But the group that bought it wasn't interested in profit. Maybe you'll earn the antidote after all. They used fake names, paid for everything in, in cash. They only cared about the technology, not the business. Yes, I knew it was strange, and no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Get in there and help him. Or do you just plan to let him die? I'll bring him the antidote. Open the door. Can't die yet. I can breathe. I can breathe again. <sighs> Thank you. Alert. Life signs stabilized. Warning. Any stress or exertion is inadvisable. No more, all right? No more. I'll, I'll tell you everything if you'll just... just go. Finish your story, Tlan. Like I told you, Sinchat sold its medical division, Vervgen, to a group of men who kept their identity secret. They were especially interested in Vervgen's genetic modification serums. They might still be running the company, I, I don't know for sure. 
Any idea what Verve Gen is up to? Not really. I heard something about a cyclone trial. Maybe the company is looking to produce and sell a new batch. Verve Gen used to be headquartered in the upper levels. I don't know if you care, but the building's not even there anymore. But whatever Verve Gen and its owners are doing, I'm not involved. Stay out of trouble, or I'll be back. You ever come here again, I'll be ready. I wouldn't say that. Hello, Cypher. Always pleasant to speak. You know, I managed to slice into the star cluster's holocams. I got to see how you handle field work. Your questioning of Jordal Clan was adeptly handled. You should try torturing people more often. Poisoning Tlan was blackmail. Nothing more, nothing else. An important distinction. I apologize. So, now we know about Vervgen, a Sinchet Industries medical subsidiary purchased by a shadowy group of buyers. Those buyers were presumably members of the Terracell. The company was acquired to produce Cyclone and other technologies. We need to take on Vervgen. Not yet. Soon. But not yet. I've located the Vergen offices, but I'm unable to obtain personnel records. Their data is very well secured. I need you to set up surveillance. Slice into public terminals around the building perimeter. And I can use Holonet resources to see and hear inside. Say we're successful. Then what? We analyze the situation. Determine our best approach. Vergen is located in the upper level industrial sites. The sector is overrun by corporate security. Some may carry Cyclone as a last resort. When you're done, come to Shadow Town. We'll meet in person. Watch your ex out. All right. With all the uh, uh, corporations and espionage and stuff, just feels like I'm playing cyberpunk <laughs> instead of Star Wars. It's not a bad thing. I love cyberpunk. You know, now that I think about it, my agent kind of looks like a mix of like uh, Makoto from. Ghost in the Shell and uh, Faith from Mirror's Edge. <laughs> I think it's the hairstyle, mostly. Alright. Slicey, slicey. North Terminal. See if I can. I'll just go around. All right, make me look good. I wonder when the next season is going to come around. Because I think the uh, last one ended uh, about like a month or so ago, didn't it? X. Rise and shine. Welcome back, Cypher. Glad you could visit. Most people in Shadow Town seek escape. Spies, assassins. Freedom is the only reason they'd help the Empire. But Imperial Intelligence isn't offering me freedom. You know why? You're insane. Letting you free would be the worst thing we could do. Imperial intelligence is scared to let me free. But the Watchers know that if I refuse to help, my mental conditioning reacts. If I disobey a superior, I get headaches. They last for days. So I may as well help you. 
the alternative is less pleasant. Whatever it takes to keep you under control. Me or anyone else your employers want to train. Now that we have surveillance, I've been able to monitor Verve Gen's activities. The results are enlightening. As we suspected, they're manufacturing Cyclone. In fact, Verve Gen is preparing a large quantity of serum for transport and distribution. We weren't testing it out in the name of science. I won't argue. But this next point is more intriguing. Verve Gen's day-to-day -day management is expecting a visit from the owners. That's when the Cyclone will be turned over. Security will increase. Employees sent home, holocams activated, internal defenses powered on. But get into the meeting unnoticed, and you'll find the terror cell leaders. Then we can eliminate the terrorists and destroy the cyclone. An appropriate solution. But the approach will require delicacy. With effort, we can create a cybernetic disguise combining armor, implants, and holographic technology. You would appear to be a Class V droid. Most security devices don't screen mindless droid workers. Fitted with such a camouflage system, you could walk into Vervgen unmolested. Being covered in cybernetics and holograms doesn't exactly sound healthy. It should be safe. Granted, I haven't seen it tested. I've already assembled the system's components. All that remains is to implant the cybernetics necessary to hide your life readings. I can put you to sleep with an anesthetic before making the incisions. Otherwise, we can begin. The procedure should be swift. There's no way I'm letting you knock me out. As you like. I'll go as fast as possible. Ugh. There. I've inserted three implants along your spinal column. The pain should fade quickly. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be able to pass as a machine. A droid disguise. Just what I've always wanted. It won't be long before the cell leaders arrive at Vervgen. I suggest you get to the meeting. Eliminate everyone. Afterward, I'll contact you for confirmation. Good luck, Cypher. Oh, it really is Cyberpunk. He's my Ripper Doc. Throw me up, Choom. Rise and shine. Guys, <laughs> it's like a gonk droid with legs. Oh, whoops. Roger, Roger. Guess Kaleo doesn't need a disguise. Guys, after the test results came in, we made some modifications. The serum lasts longer. The side effects kick in later, but it's still lethal. No matter what we do, Cyclone will burn up its users from the inside out. I'm not concerned about fatalities, but men and women taking the serum understand the necessity of sacrifice. This is an important day for us. You've created a new weapon in our fight for freedom, one that we'll use to great advantage. We're all honored to hear that from the Eagle, sir. Vervgen is your partner in the cause. Vervgen's finished. Find a new supplier. Deal with this interruption now, all of you. Something's wrong with the internal defenses. I can't get a response. Secure the building, and don't let anyone escape. Anyone who needs a boost from Cyclone, take it. <laughs> Not subtle, as usual. Oh, 
Well now. Recording function activated. Self-diagnosis. Critical. I'm going to die. I'm looking at the woman who's going to kill me. A cyborg. How convenient. You eliminated the cell leaders. Now we must remove every trace of their operation and prevent their followers from regrouping. The terrorist communications hub, the system they use to arrange meetings, store secrets, broadcast propaganda, must be destroyed. The man at your feet is our opportunity. He's mewling on the floor. He's barely an opportunity for target practice. You can kill him soon, if you like. This won't take long. We can use his computer-enhanced brain to locate the hub. You'll need to route me to his cortical implant. What? You can't do that! There should be a standard interface somewhere on his skull. Connect your holo communicator, and I can slice the data inside his mind. Please, I'll tell you what you need to know. Just don't slice my brain. You played the game and lost. These are the consequences. Don't. Please don't! I'm inside. He's Aethel Yarn, born on Dantooine. Sixteen years old, he comes to Narshadar, works for the Exchange, earns his cybernetics. Nineteen years, he's recruited by the Narshadar Terror Cell, starts as nothing, but his enhancements prove useful to men higher up. They connect him to the Cell's communications hub. Feed him codes and patterns. Now the coordinates are mine. What am I supposed to do with him now? Leave him to die. I'm releasing his mind. <laughs> Can't think. Can't. The hub is in the network access sector. A maze of computers and holonet transceivers. You'll have to pass the cell security droids to reach it. Certainly within your capabilities. Once you're there, disable the terminal. Then, the Narshadar Terror Cell will cease to exist. Uh, uh, can't... Consider this an act of mercy. No mercy for the enemies of the Empire! Let's go to the hub. Leader. Interesting. Oof. Congratulations, Cypher. You've struck the final blow to the Terror Cell. Survivors will be unable to regroup. Ties to the Eagle's network have been severed. There's only one catch. Destroying the network hub sent a ripple through the holonet. Shadow Town security momentarily failed. I took the opportunity to escape. Escaping was your real goal all along. I knew working with intelligence would expand my options. It wasn't until we met that I formulated a plan. Damn son of a sow. Soon one of your watchers will notice the glitch. You'll be asked to find me. Hunt me. But I don't want you as an enemy. Tell your watcher that I remain imprisoned. Once I'm safe, I'll share my secrets. You'll know everything intelligence keeps from its ciphers. How do I know you'd keep your end of the deal? You don't. But consider the possibilities. Do you want the details of the eugenics program that bred myself and Watcher 2? The aliases of your friend, Kaleo Janis? You sleazy freak. Think you can play? You are dead. You're so dead. It's yours. All the secrets. You only have to help me escape Narshadar. 
I'll hunt you down, you smug creep. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I should be going. I have to get to my ship. You have an incoming call from your masters. Goodbye, Cypher. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. I'm routing this call through a half dozen city subsystems. We intercepted a set of terrorist transmissions, reporting the destruction of a company called Verve Gen. I've sent agents to scour the company systems for additional data. It seems the Nasha Dar cell has been neutralized. I just destroyed the cell's communications hub. It could have salvageable data. I'll alert the teams. There's also something else. As I was monitoring, I noticed some unusual network activity. It's possible Shadow Town's security was breached. I'm worried about Watcher X. He'd take advantage of a fault like that. I'm going after him now. He called me to gloat. Damn it all. We can't have a rogue Watcher loose in the galaxy. Head for the spaceport. I'll try to delay any departures, but be fast. Nar Shaddaa doesn't acknowledge Imperial authority. I don't need your advice. I won't distract you further. Watcher 2 out. That's the spirit. Let's kill that filth. Well, aren't you eager? Well, traitor's a traitor. Let's kill him. I mean, not sure if we can really call him a traitor if he was a prisoner, but... Either way. Still has info that could hurt the Empire, so... Is this reason enough to kill him? Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Look around. Note your target. Check him for weapons. Held. Concealed. Improvised. Now scan the rest of the area. Does he have allies? Are they hiding? Are you outmatched without realizing? I'm disappointed in you, Cypher. I offered you information that could have given you power over your masters. I knew what I was doing when I took this job. So many operatives say that. I owe you my release, but I have no qualms about us fighting. If you'd like to back out, you may. It's too late. For both of us. As you like. Goodbye, Agent. Now we reach the end. Make it out of this. No one ever does. Yes, that's done. I'd kick around his body, but the bomb in his head might go off. Too bad he decided to play you. If he had dealt straight, Betty could have told his keeper's real name. Keeper's not the only one he could have exposed. A lot of people know my secrets. I get around, but no one knows it all. Cypher 9, this is Watcher 2. Please respond. I need a status update on Watcher X. I'm ready to put out a general alert. Enjoy the sight. One dead, genetically enhanced former Watcher. I see. Very well. That's all the evidence I need. I'll downgrade our security status. Operations will proceed as normal. For the record, Cypher, I don't enjoy violence. But I'm extremely happy that Watcher X is out of commission. Why does he bother you so much? He had nearly the same training, but he was better than me. Smarter. I know what he was capable of. I'll send a crew to collect Watcher X's corpse. His mind and body are Imperial technology. Consider the matter closed. Records of his presence here will be erased, and you're not to speak of this further. I'll debrief you back at the ship. Oh man, the flames kind of messed up the scene a little bit. But there's that. I was kind of half tempted to take his offer because I think in my last uh, couple agent playthroughs I ended up killing him too. But, uh. Oh well. It's done.
This is Cypher 9 to Watcher 2. Please respond. Contact authorization denied. This is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cypher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? I assure you, my lord. I've reported all my findings to intelligence. Very well. Perhaps it's not you I should blame. Now, my peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets. The mysteries Darth Jadis never deigned to teach me. You think Jadis's secrets will win the council members' respect? Once I possess the tools my father used, the Dark Council will have no choice but to admire me. I was his only apprentice, but he favored force blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator, but not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Nar Shaddaa. And this advisor can tell you what Jadis knew? I know he can. Why else would he flee unless he feared sharing? In a game? Maybe Yanol conspired with Jadis's rivals. Maybe he was involved in my father's death. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. Well, looks like we're not done with Narshida quite yet, but I think we are done with this uh, episode for now. So, um, yeah, Narshida, I always like in the uh, Imperial Agent storyline just how well they set up each of their villains uh, for each planet. It's just, I don't know, I don't get that same feeling from a lot of the other uh, classes, but this one they just set up, set them up so well. Uh, and I think that's probably one of my favorite part about the Imperial Agent storyline is just the uh, the villains or the uh, you know antagonists, I suppose. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching. Bones out.